Hey guys, still here and welcome back to From the Depths. Previous week's adventure mode was really, really well received, and I'm glad you guys like it, because I'm gonna do some more. We're gonna start with a new adventure, seeing as our previous one didn't end too well. Now, same uh, plan. I'm trying to build a battle boat slash cruiser. That's going to allow, or, well, not so much allow, it's going to rely on missiles. So first up, set up a couple of blocks, uh, probably just a couple of wooden blocks, a beam like this, and another one like that. And that will provide a decent amount of place to put a couple of material gatherers. All right, let's spin this thing around. That goes here, uh, this goes here. Whoa, yeah, pretty much as expected. I need to ensure that I have a keel, otherwise the whole thing will be upside down, and that's not a good position for you to be in when you're trying to mine something. So, build that, build a lead keel. Down we go, that way, and this way. And we turn right back up. Okay, now that we have the ability to gain more materials, we're also going to be using a bit of engine power. So first make the ship a bit larger, and then put on an engine or two. Whoops, I didn't mean to delete that, I'm sorry. Now the ship's uneven. Triple, triple, beam. Get to the front. I'll try not to stick around in the area where uh, I'm currently so that I don't die that quickly because that was the problem last time. I was too long in the area um, and I should have just stayed at greater range. Now, as you guys have mentioned, um, my engine exhaust was pointing down, which is probably why the whole thing didn't really go through. There we go. Let's see if the engine is happier now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That'd be a really, really quick adventure. You're dying. Yeah, not anymore, I'm not. Okay. That almost... Got the adventure short quite significantly. All right. We're generating a nice amount of resources. Now let's first build a ship. Until I have a ton of resources, I'm first gonna build it out of wood. Later on, it'll probably get built out of uh, metals, so as to ensure that it can take a bit more of a beating, because that is almost a guarantee. You will get hit unless you spam missiles, rockets, whatever weapon system you choose from over the horizon, pretty much. Uh, I think I need to use double blocks here. Two blocks, otherwise it's going to be too long. There we go. No, I didn't mean to delete that. All right, one block wider. Now I have the same problem on the other side, of course. Okay, now the rest of the hull. Let's see if I can do this faster than I did it last time. Inverted. Uh, first, of course, I need to set up the base structure of the ship. Otherwise, there's no real way to place those things down. I just hope that I don't get engaged within the next 10 minutes or so, so I still have a bit of time to build up my ship. But the AI generally isn't particularly merciful. So I'm not really expecting any kind of a grace period more than five to 10 minutes from the AI at best. Okay, slope, more slope. Now a couple more pointing forward. And down, back. Okay, good. Set up the sides. Resources still 1,500. That's more than enough to build a decent hull. 
and still potentially have some left to ensure a missile battery of sorts. Okay, um, for the stern, this will do. Triple block high. There we go. Back to the front, because I noticed that I did not make it entirely finished. It needs to have another triangle corner, like that. Then another beam, or sorry, another slope. A couple more slopes like this. Up, 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 and beam triple. Still don't find the whole building thing too, in too intuitive, but I probably haven't done it enough yet. Okay, we now have a water pump there. Or rather, an air pump. Indicating that this is supposed to be a dry, sh dry part of the ship. Just to make sure that if, well, when I get hit, I still have enough. I'm going to put on a few more. Then, blocks. Wood. Slopes. Might not be the most efficient way to put props on the ship, but at least I know that I can put uh, props and rudders on there. So back to water. Props, propellers. That's one. Two, and I'll take a double rudder probably. That should fit on there, right? Yes. Okay, we have maneuverability. Now to set up control. Ship's wheel. And a seat. Very good. Fire control computer. Done. Right. Resources, 1876. And counting quickly. Time to set up a missile launcher. Um... Maybe a one turn in this case, so that I have the capability of launching vertically. But then, yeah, the problem with a vertical launcher is that I find that it's not, it's not great. Because your ship has the tendency to become really tall. Maybe I can just build some really large missiles. Not so much large missiles as a base size, because they're really expensive at 2400. No, these things. Or even these, because they fire four. And just build a couple of gantries on top of that. Uh, give me more blocks, wood, slopes. I'm keeping a pretty close eye on the horizon. The moment that I see something that really shouldn't be there, something that looks like a red blip, then I'll probably have to start maneuvering and I'll probably have to be quick about it as well. Because they're generally very deadly, especially against my uh, puny craft as it is. Okay, that's where the missile launchers are going to be. Small missiles. Like that. Um, I'll have to make sure that they get ejected off of the ship. Oh, hold on. Uh -uh. Stupid. Um, start with the end in mind. Start with the connectors. Connectors. Good. Now I can set up my small missile launchers. Then I can put the ejectors on. The ejectors basically force a missile out of a tube. That's all that they do. One there and one there. Next up, more missile parts, missile gantries. Oh shit, that was way expensive. Okay, uh, that went out the door real, <laughs> real quick. I forgot just how expensive missiles are. Oh, should have done it here and here. 
Remove that, remove that, add a controller. Okay, now we have missiles. And I'm just going to add one more missile gantry. And now set up the torpedo. Good lord, that's a lot of them. Uh, thruster, no. Torpedo propeller. I believe I can only have one of those. That's quite a lot of fins. I think you should have the fins in the back. One, two, three, four. This is going to be a one turn. A one turn pretty much means that the ship is... Hold on, where? Uh, here. We'll direct the missile on course that the player was facing when they launched the missile. I'll also need to have a prediction guidance to target the particular unit that I'm looking for. And preferably a safety fuse so that they don't blow up in my face. Then a couple of regulators. Two should do the job. Uh, I think four fuel tanks, six fuel tanks is a bit much. So I can also turn this into a ballast tank. I can turn this into a magnet so that it strikes the hull. And over here we can have the torpedo sonar. Now finally, and very importantly, IFF. Identification friend or foe. I really am not interested in getting hit by my own torpedoes and it has happened. I believe a couple of years ago when I was still doing uh, the playthrough with the submarine. Right, can I now launch? Uh, yeah, whoa! Maybe that that ejector is a bit a bit too strong. Oh, damn, I need a better regulator. Or did I not copy it to all? I only have a few fry what the hell? Ah. No, hold on. I don't think I have my torpedo launcher set up properly. Does I not have a whole bunch of fins, fuel tanks and shit? No, 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 no. Fins, yes. Uh, one turn. Then I'll take a few fuel tanks. Prediction guidance, yes, safety fuse, no more fuel tanks. Uh, but I will take a regulator over here, pretty much in the middle of the torp. Ballast tank, check. Fuel tanks, no. Um... Well, sort of. This one could be a torpedo sonar. This one could be another frag warhead. This one could be another frag warhead. I was told that those actually do quite well. Copy. And remove that. And remove that. Is this better? How far can they travel? Pretty far. 600 meters. But they're sort of sea skimming. That's not what I want. I want them to be actual torpedoes. So, subsurface, if you will. Uh, float depth. Can I set minus one? That should do it right. We. Yeah, that's a little better. Fuel's plenty. And they're traveling at a good amount of speed. They're still aiming via the one turn. They're still trying to look for a target, which they haven't found yet. Now, the good news is, at this point, I have a bit more cash. Or rather, resources. So I should be able to afford another missile launcher. So you are going to copy to the matching launch pads. I don't think I can afford another one quite yet. So this will have to be it for now. I'm still inside the circle, still gaining resources. Now we wait. We wait for the dawn. Um, I was also told that stone blocks have a pretty decent ability to withstand. Well, at least an impact or two. Wood has an armor of 8. 
and a weight of 10. Stone has an armor of 40. I'm oh, sorry, a weight of 40 and armor of 16. Relative buoyancy of minus 1.7, relative buoyancy plus 27.7. Right. So I guess I can replace a few of the parts. But not that many. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it was shift... Yeah, shift click replaces it. I am definitely in the market for having some more armor. Because we saw how quickly that previous craft died last week. Or at least if you were here, you saw. It, uh, it went pretty quick. Two or three good hits and she was done. It does look really weird though. Building a ship out of bricks. It looks like a pretty terrible decision. I mean, <laughs> it looks like a house in the, sh the form of a ship. Oh, we have a contact. Somewhere on the horizon. There. I can sort of show you out there. There's something out there. Um, I think I'm going to have to hand over the control system to the AI as much as I don't like it. I mean, I really like to fire my own torpedoes because that means I can track them. But it's not always possible. Wireless transmitter. Uh, local weapon controller. Here. Wireless receiver. Here. Local weapon controller. Yeah, channel 1's fine. You need to have a maximum altitude of... Uh, Two. That's pretty important. Okay, put a couple of connectors on. Ensure that the ship can detect enemies. No detection, no torpedo launches. Let's go with a radar. A radar 360. Currently tracking zero targets. Well, maybe, but you can bet your ass that there's something on the horizon there. Or is that loot? That's possible. It might be loot. It's getting dark. Alright, something else I still need to set up is the potential for this ship to also target other units. So I'm going to say that this is a um, and this is a small torpedo. Twenty slots. Okay. Now we're going to edit it. We're going to have a variable thrust, a one turn, a fuel tank, a prediction guidance, and a regulator. Or sorry, and a safety fuse, two regulators. A ballast tank's not required. Let's sacrifice that for more fuel. Magnet is not required. Um. I'm not really sure what the right choice is here. Swap this for another... F uh, no, not a fuel tank. For another frag warhead. And this one too. Just make sure you don't have a torpedo sonar, but an active radar seeker. And that is going to be my anti-air missile. So this is small uh, SAM, service to air missile. Because there will potentially be flying targets. 2100 resources. Can I buy another missile launcher? Maybe. Aiming via the one turn. Has it detected anything yet? Well, not with a torpedo sonar, of course. What is that out there? Oh, it's the, just a circle. It's a gate. Uh-huh. Makes sense. Uh, we're currently on the anti-air mode. Load the torpedo mode. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're targeting the battery storage beam of a pulverizer. Range to the target, five clicks. I wonder if this thing can go that far. 
Because they have a decent fuel tank. But I'm not sure if they really have the longevity for it. Also, their altitude's dropping. Curious. Range 3800. Let's just take personal control for now. Range 3000. It's turning slightly. 2700. Go on, my boy. Do some damage to the pulverizer. Nope. Ran out. Shit. That means that this one should not engage at 5,000 meter range because I don't have that range. Let's set it to 3,500. And also set up some resources in the form of ammo boxes. Otherwise, I won't even be able to buy new torpedoes. At least not fast. Can we have another salvo out? Uh, those of you who were saying last week that they got motion sickness as I was building my ship and that I can use caps lock to build to, to lift it out of the water. Uh, normally, yes, but not when I'm actually doing adventure mode. The game doesn't allow that. The game only allows that when you're in creative mode or campaign mode. And I'm in neither. So as much as I would like, I cannot do it. Mirror mode, put up some material storage. I have control. I'm curious to see what the range on that target is. I'm not sure how this thing is managing to fly. Maybe it just sort of skimmed the waves and then the torpedo propeller just juiced it right out of the water. There we go, altitude dropping. Is that the only threat we have? Yeah, that's the gate. That seems to be it. Stop doing all sorts of wonky stuff. You know what, maybe I should set my control seat up higher so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, stone. From here I should be able to control it, right? Are you targeting anything yet? It doesn't seem to really have a target at the moment. So maybe the torpedo sonar hasn't quite detected the target. Which I find rather hard to believe. It still thinks the target distance is only 250 meters out. It simply hasn't detected the target. Crap. Let's see what happens if these things run for a while. Maybe the torpedo sonar will at some point pick them up. Crap, I think I mined everything I had from that research circle. Resource circle. Hmm. Distance traveled 1700 meters. At least I can sort of see what sort of target we're having. What we're looking at. That is, if at some point... The there we go. Scuttle gun. But the torpedoes just ran out. Okay. And I think that had to do with not having enough regulators. So fuel is fine. But they just run out. Regulator. Copy to all. 
save as the small torpedo. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what the uh, small service to air missile does. So I want to load that design. Uh, yep, check. Copy to all matching launch pads. Range of the scuttle gun is 4,600 meters, near enough. These things are pretty damn fast. Traveling at 120 meters per second. Range, 3,200. Fuel looks good. Still checking if that's the only target. Nope. No, there's definitely more out there. I got a target over there. That's the one I'm engaging. But there's also a small action happening towards my stern. AI, take control. Uh, since there's nothing to mine here, let's get underway. Speed, 13 meters per second. What the hell is happening over there? And how far away is that? Falkenheim. Five clicks out. That's an aerial target. And that? Coyote. Three and a half clicks out. No, it's still trying to target Falkenheim. It's going for an aerial target instead. Okay. Hold off. We need to load the torpedoes instead. No, not, no, 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 not save them. We need to load the torpedoes. Check. Copy to all. Give me control. That's your target right there. Torpedo away. Still aiming via the one turn. It hasn't detected it yet on the torpedo sonar. Uh, I would very much like another seat so that I don't immediately get blown off the ship when we take a hit. Although there is a potential that I will take a hit anyway. There. There's something here ahead of me. And something out there as well. That's problematic. I have control. The torpedo's aiming via the one turn. Let's hand it over to the AI and see what they decide to engage. Missiles are being dropped into the water very quickly. That thing over on my starboard side seems to get awful close. Unfortunately, now I cannot keep track of the torpedoes, but I can see that they're doing some damage. And that means that I believe I get resources. Which is good, because I could use a couple of bigger torpedo tubes. There's another threat out there. We're tracking the Scuttle Gun, the Coyote, the Falkenheim, two Duster Marines. Lovely. Uh, maybe it's time to give the AI an, a bit of information about what it should be targeting. Uh, plug and play cards. No, it's the other one, isn't it? Target prioritization. This card can be inserted into a card slot and will allow prioritization of certain targets, both the primary or target of the mainframe and the weapon systems. Yes. So I'll need a card slot. Over there. And then set up the target prioritization. And do I also need an aim point selector? Select a vulnerable point. So yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We're doing a decent amount of damage, seemingly to the target behind me. Come about. 
So far, I think I've already lasted longer than the previous episode. Or the previous uh, trial, rather. Hold on. AI dead. That means that there are potentially resources up for grabs. I need to head over there. In the meanwhile, the AI is now working on tracking four targets. So yes, the target up ahead is gone. Right there. We're going to get there, and we're going to steal those resources. We just won't be doing it very quickly. Speed to full, 14 meters per second. A.K.A. about, what is that, 40, 40, 45 kilometers an hour? Not terribly quick. Cannot control movement. Yeah, correct. I don't want you to control movement. Aimpoint selector card. Yes. Um, okay. Rank 1 is the rat. I want to give extra value, extra weight, what it should be targeting, to the range. This should if I'm interpreting this correctly, mean that the AI is now going to target stuff which happens to be closer. Let's see, where's that objective? Still ahead. Carry on. We'll get there. With our brick boat. Definitely a far cry from the uh, Kirov class battle cruiser as was requested slash what I'm trying to get built. Uh, it's <laughs> going to be a while before we get up to that tier. Come on. Alright, just let the AI handle it. Now, just to be sure that I can actually transport all those resources, I'm going to set up another resource container. Another large material storage. Because there might be a lot of resources out there. You know, I have some room on the ship. These things aren't very expensive. They're just 16 points. Up. There. I can now hold almost 40,000 points of resources. And that's where we need to be. Currently tracking two targets. Did something else die? Maybe. Yep, something died over there. I just saw the pop-up. So something else was able to target it and murder it. Which is both good news and bad. There. Loot, sweet loot. That's where we're going. Are you tracking anything? Scuttle gun, Falkenheim and a Duster Marine. Yay, 1,311 salvaged. Nice. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to leave you with this particular playthrough. Next week, I'm going to be continuing with this adventure. And, um, well, all that leaves me to be done is to say Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are going to have a good one. Despite all the COVID restrictions, uh, it's a weird year for Christmas, but here we are. Make the best of it, whatever way you celebrate it. And I shall see you guys next week for more From the Depths.